Some exams are slowly approaching the students at Stephen F. Austin State University, and students suffering from depression are having to battle two battles instead of one. According to Healthline.com, one out of four students suffer from a form of mental illness, including depression. Psychology Today defines depression as an illness that involves the body, thoughts, and mood of an individual, although an individual will experience sadness that is not the full effect of the mental disorder. The symptoms of depression are experiencing trouble concentrating, sleeping patterns, changing in eating habits, and experiencing irritability over a long period of time. If the mental illness is left undiagnosed, the individual can become overwhelmed and in certain cases can become suicidal as a result. According to the Director of Counseling Services, Jill Millam, explained that not everyone who is depressed becomes suicidal, but individuals who are suicidal have a form of a depressive disorder. Very much hand in hand. Not everybody who's depressed gets suicidal, but most of the time people who are suicidal have a depressive disorder. Millam also explained the recommended treatment needed for an individual that is suffering from the mental illness. Mm -hmm. Studies indicate that probably the most effective methods of treating depression are a combination of counseling and medication. But in cases of um, mild depression uh, or moderate depression, sometimes just making some lifestyle changes can be real helpful. She commented that one of the changes that can be beneficial in the increase in exercise and having a supportive system. Millam admits that she is not sure why there is an increase in depression on college campuses, but she does have a few hypotheses. I think maybe people are experiencing more stress and they're also maybe less resilient in dealing with the stressors that they have. And then we have all the new things that our wonderful technological advances have brought that maybe have some also some negative side effects also. Researchers are still unable to find the direct cause for the increase, but individuals are still searching for the answers. I am Dominic Hayes from the East Texas Explorer.